Hello guys, how are you today? I hope whatever you're doing, you're having a great day. Today I want to show you how easy bagels are in your Thermomix. So there are some recipes you can follow, some that have some different ingredients to normal, but I want to show you one today that's quite simple. You've probably got everything in your pantry that you need to make these bagels. So let's get started on the recipe straight away. It says grease a bowl with oil and set aside. This is going to be to prove your bagel mix. I'm going to use my Thermomat, so I don't need to do that. If you haven't got a Thermomat, have yourself a demo and get yourself one discounted. Line a baking tray with baking paper and set aside. So I'm actually using my rose gold and I've got one of my beautiful oven mats which come in the demo pack. So if you're getting a demo to get yourself the Thermo mat for proving, you also get the oven mat. So that's pretty cool. $25 just for hosting or free if a friend is ready to buy. Okay, 120 grams of water. Let's do this. So in goes my water, 120 grams. Not a huge amount really. You do need more water for later because we actually steam bagels later. So the thing that makes bagels bagels is actually the fact that they get steamed. So we're going to steam them in the Varoma later. 250 grams of whole milk. In that goes. I've pre-weighed pre that one out. A little bit short, but that's all right. One tablespoon of raw sugar. Now, traditional bagels actually have malt syrup in it, and that's kind of got that oval teeny kind of taste to it. Um, this one is an Australian version. I think it's Australian anyway. Um, and you'll see there it just has one tablespoon of raw. Okay. They do have that sweet undertone to them, so you don't want to completely miss that out. Otherwise, I think it won't taste like store-bought bagels, right? Three teaspoons of yeast. Okay, or 30 grams of fresh. So remember with your yeast, you want to keep it in the fridge or freezer. Otherwise, it goes off. It doesn't like changes of temperatures. The little yeast things don't cope with that change of temperature. So three teaspoons of that. And remember with your yeast as well, try and drop it down the side of the blades. Don't drop it on the little circle dial. Otherwise, it just doesn't get used. It just goes to waste. Okay, next up nearly done on with my lid and it's actually going to warm up this uh, moist this liquid in there because you've got the cold milk in there uh, for four minutes at 50 degrees on speed two so it's going to warm that all up let, allow that yeast to activate before we then add some flour some salt and then we're going to get it out and i'm going to show you some tips and tricks to make this recipe uh, faster i guess than the original recipe calls for so i'll see you in four minutes time and show you the next part see you soon okay welcome back guys so that has heated that milk up to 30 Oh, sorry, not 30, 50 degrees and now 45. It's starting to drop down already. So now it's ready to add the bread flour to. So this is not just plain flour. This is baker's flour or um, strong white bread flour you can see there. So it has a higher protein content. So it's a fluffier product at the end you'll end up with. So we want 520 grams. In it goes. Oh, I hope I've got enough in here. short. I wonder if I've got a little bit more in here. I normally have a secondary container hanging around. Maybe not. Sorry guys, didn't plan on running 30 grams short. All right, I might just leave it out. You know what, it's gonna be a little tackier, but I'll just leave it out because I can't see the other container. Might be in the freezer, which is where we keep our flowers when it's not in use, so that the weevils and things don't get into it. Okay, last up, we need three teaspoons of fine sea salt. So I'm just having a little look. No. I'll do that off camera, hey? So three spoonfuls of salt. We've got Himalayan here, but whatever you've got is fine. And now we just put it on and it's going to knead. Okay, so it's going to knead now for four minutes. Okay, so this is going to make it all come together and all ready to go. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to change the recipe a little bit. We're going to speed up the time of this recipe by straight away making it into 12 balls when it comes out of Thermomix. So I'm going to give this a spin now. We never walk away from our Thermomix when it's kneading. Okay, we must stay close. It's the one time it get a, can get a bit of a feet on it and walk up a bench. But I'll be back here in four minutes and I'll show you what we do with the dough next. We'll see you soon. Okay, knead time has just now finished. So let's open this up. It tells us to transfer it somewhere to prove. By the way, in that knead time, I managed to go um, find some plain flour and I just substituted in 30 grams of plain flour. 
so I managed to get that in there. It's quite warm the dough. Now to get dough out of your Thermomix, for those of you who didn't know this trick, I'm going to show you. Just turn your little dial on the bottom, give it a spin and it will drop out gradually of the ball. So it actually allows the blades to release it. We're not actually letting the blades out there, we're just spinning the dial. And you can see there, see it coming out? Here it comes. So that's that spinning of the dial. Okay, give it a little wiggle back and forth, let those last few bits come. And if there's a piece still stuck to the blades, like that, we can just put it back in the machine for a couple of seconds, just spin it up to speed 10, but we'll go out to the sides. There you go. So now we can literally just grab it out. Just be careful if you've got a new tier six, they have sharp blades when they come. Okay, so just be mindful of your sharp blades. So you can see now it's all stuck out to the sides, which is so easy to get off. Now, the way we're gonna quicken this recipe up a bit is we're actually gonna straight away roll this into 12 balls. So normally it says to prove for two hours till it doubles in size. Um, I don't know about you, but I've never got two hours to wait for something. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it about 20 minutes. So we're going to roll it into 12 balls. It says it makes 12. Just getting the last of this dough off the center here. That bit's a bit stuck. There we go. All right. So we're going to straight away make 12 balls on the tray. We're then going to use our thermomat to cover those 12 balls. So I think you guys can see what I'm doing up here. So just use the Thermomix spatula to pat it. It's perfect for this. And we want 12. So into four, I normally do, and then into three. Now I'm excited about this recipe. We actually steam them. Okay, so that's what makes it quite unique. So here's our balls. Now, little tip with your balls. So when you're making um, these bread rolls, the tip is not to overwork the dough. If you overwork it, you'll just end up with little rocks and it's not very pleasant. What you do is you actually stretch the dough. You stretch it over and pinch it behind. Then you turn it and stretch and pinch. So you end up with it all pinched under, like a little money bag kind of concept underneath. So you'll end up with a smooth top and it all pinched together in the bottom, which is what goes down on the tray anyway. So we put that down on the tray and we're gonna do that for all 12 of them, making little kind of, at the moment, I guess you could say little bread rolls is what I'm making. But later on, we put our, once we come back in 20 minutes, we put our thumb through the center, spread them into bagel shapes, and then we're gonna steam them, which I'm excited about. They actually steam for um, only a couple of minutes. So you pre-boil your water, we steam them, and then they go into a hot oven to cook, and they don't take too long in there either. So this is really going to shortcut the recipe because it's a two hours prove time, and then you come back later and you prove it again. So I'm excited to be able to show you guys how to make these really achievable in way less time. So get it out of the machine. Okay, out of your Thermomix, make it into circles. We're going to cover it with the Thermomat and um, let it prove. So... Just let me show you, if that was imagine that was 12 done, literally, we're just gonna cover it with our mat, okay? And then we'll come back in 20 minutes and I'll show you how to make the next step. We'll see you then, bye for now. Okay guys, it's been about 20 minutes now. Um, you can see I went and did all 12 of them, okay? Um, and then just covered them and I've let them sit here and they've already started changing texture and size a little bit. So now, love this silicon mat, it just comes off the top beautifully. Now what we need to do is we need to, it says now we've changed the recipe, right? So I've changed it to make it faster. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna poke our thumb through the middle of the dough. So we grab a dough ball, very gently off the mat. If anything, I'd suggest maybe putting a little bit of flour on your mat. It says to use oiled hands, which I don't have, but anyway, that's okay. Thumb through the middle push through the middle and then we just give them a stretch to the outside. So what you're trying to do is make yourself a bagel shape, okay? Maybe you can make yours neater than mine. I'm not the best at being neat. I'm more functional than neat. And then grab another one and you just need to do that for all 12. And then what you need to do is give them at least another 20 minutes, half an hour, to grow again, okay? So that, and because you've now touched them, they need that time to, uh, the gluten to relax so that it's not stressed. And then we're going to steam it okay so in about 10 minutes time you want to be putting on your water for the next step so always says cover and leave proof for half an hour preheat the oven to 220 so it's quite a hot oven okay so these are going to get steamed and then they're going to go in an oven now 800 grams of water I need to get my bowl I've just rinsed it out outside on with the lid and it's cooking for 10 minutes it's getting that up to boil so that when we put these on top the water's already boiling. So in about 10 minutes time, 
Um, for those of you cooking along, make sure you put your water on to boil uh, so that it's finishing about the same time as these are proving. So I will see you soon. And when I come back in a moment, my water will be boiling. I will have these have, these will approve for their 20 minutes, half an hour, and I'll be ready to sting them. So I'll see you soon. Bye guys. Okay guys, it's been about 20 minutes. This has been steaming for, uh, or coming up to temp more so for about 10 minutes now. Um, it's actually got 30 minutes remaining, but you can see it's already boiling. You can see it's hit Varoma temperature, it was aiming for Varoma. So I'm actually gonna stop it a little bit early. So by all means, you can do that as well. Line of aroma tray with a piece of wet rang baking paper. So I've actually uh, got the mix shop liners for the Varoma tray. I've wrung it under the water, wet, wet it, wrung it, and I've laid it there, okay? We're gonna put four bagels in the top um, in a moment. We're going to place, yeah, here we go, four the bagels onto the Varoma tray. So these these are started to grow back here. They're very rustic looking. Uh, no you know, helpers I've got at my house little helpers who like to be part of everything. Probably my advice at this point is it would be amazing to have flowered my, my um, silicon mat here because I can see as they're lifting off that they're being sticky. Keeping it real in the kitchen today. You guys can't see anywhere I'm behind the block. But as I'm lifting them off, they're quite tacky. They're, uh, it could be the humidity here in Brisbane, um, but they're quite tacky. So they're sticking to my fingers significantly as I'm lifting them off. So I wanna fit four on here. Now these are going to expand anyway as I cook them in the steam and then they're gonna cook further in the oven. So they've got quite a few chances. Oops, this one's stuck to this one next to it. Quite a few chances here to kind of reshape, reform. Okay, so don't worry, you know, if you kind of stretch it out, although I would say oiling that a bit better or flouring it would probably prevent this being such a sticky task. Okay, so you can learn from my mistakes. The videos I bring to you, not edited, uh, I mean stuck together at times because you don't want to be stuck here coming back, you know, waiting for half an hour for a step. They're stuck together but they're real, okay? Nothing here is uh, edited or changed, you get the real deal. Even the very rough bagels. I'm excited to see these blow up and be really big though, okay? Because I know that they will. So, four of them on a tray. So it means we are going to have to come back and do this step another two times because obviously I've got 12. So we'll put these here. Okay, there we go, on the tray, all right? They lost a bit of their fluffiness, but that's all right. Aroma goes on, Varoma lid goes on. You might have a black Varoma lid, that's okay, same, same. Two minutes, it's gonna steam, okay? So while that's happening, you could be trying to dislodge those ones or even have yourself a second piece of baking paper and putting that on and off. Once these are steamed in a moment, I'm gonna change the recipe a little as well. I'm not doing the egg wash. What I am gonna do is I'm just gonna sprinkle some sesame seeds on top of these while they're sticky and humid before they go in the 220 degree oven. Okay, so they're gonna be um, sweaty on top from the steam. Okay, and that will help the sesame seeds to stick and that's what's gonna happen next. When they're in the oven, they don't cook for very long. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making the bacon jam to go with them. Now, if you want to see this bacon jam recipe, you'll see it on my Facebook page um, later on. So go check that out, Lisa Keegan Thermomix Consultant. And you can see the amazing bacon jam that goes with this recipe. It's got all sorts of amazing flavours. It's got coffee. It's got orange. It's got bourbon. It's got um, oh, star and east and so many more things, and absolutely amazing. This recipe itself with the bagels, the bacon jam, and eggs, um, it's just a complete breakfast all in one, or today it'll be a lunch at our house. So this is how you can use your Thermomix to try things you've never tried before, like I am today. 40 seconds to go, how quick is that? And they have started blowing up in, in size. So, some of these are really tacky back here. They're stuck to each other well. I wonder if an egg flip might help to get them off. Anyway, learn from my mistakes, guys. That's what I'm here for, keeping it real. But if you do buy bagels, this is going to save you a lot of money making them yourself. Just trying to dislodge four of them back here. Even a palette knife, one of those flat knives that you use for cake making, I think would work well to get them off. I don't have one in here, though. So I'll just make do with what I've got, which is a spoon. So 
these are going to be really quick. You know, they're only a two minute steam. And I'm putting them back on this tray ready to go in the oven. Okay. Next. Transfer the steam bagels onto a prepared baking tray and repeat with the remaining. So I'm just going to wiggle you guys back a bit because I want to be able to put this here on front. Front and centre. Okay. So transfer these off. So it's kind of that steam has sealed them a bit, like they've got a funny texture to them. They're like a, they're, they're sealed on the outside now. All right, if I can get them off the tray, this will be amazing. So the other way you can do them is actually in a pot of water on the stove top is your other alternative way of doing it. So you bring out an entire pot of water to the stove. These are really sticky. You know what? change of plan i'm going to lift that entire tray directly onto my oven tray i've just mushed that first one up but anyway keeping it real so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab another piece of baking paper i'm going to and you know what in hindsight hindsight's a wonderful thing told you keeping it real in hindsight i would actually get three different pieces of baking paper ring ring them out wet them prove them on that lift them on, cook them on that, lift them off onto your oven tray, sprinkle with your sesame seeds in the oven, okay? So there you go, learn from my uh, ways, okay guys? And I'm gonna do that now, but I won't take your time on screen. So I'm gonna do this rotation, I'll come back to you when they're all about to go in the oven and let you know how that goes. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay guys, so that has been a much better way to do it. So I would highly recommend you grab yourself three bits of wet baking paper. You actually prove them on there as well, so there's no need to handle them. So once you get past the 12 little balls and you put the thumb in the middle, stretch them out, put them on that baking paper, ready to be lifted in later once they're big enough. It's gonna save a whole lot of messing around. That's my tip. This is my last batch coming out now. So I put the other two already in the oven. They only cook at 220 degrees for eight minutes. So they're quite quick. Do you guys know that tip where you flip this upside down so it's your, um, your drip catcher? Ouch, that's a bit warm. So there we go. You can see there. Now, all you wanna do is while they're still wet so you don't have to do the egg wash, which my kids really don't like. They find it really crunchy. Just literally sprinkle the sesame seeds on while it's sweaty, while it's hot. Don't let them dry out, otherwise they just won't hold. But that's all you need to do to make them attach them to the top. Okay, so now all we do is we roll this off very carefully onto, onto the tray, like so. And look at that, guys. Isn't that so much easier than trying to transfer it back and forth? So let me just sit that up there out the way. I can go put that in the oven now for the eight minutes. Um, and get those cooked and they'll grow even larger. Okay, so I am looking at these two going Oh, they're touching a bit I might need to separate them But otherwise that's how you make bagels guys in your thermomix. mix. Give it a go See what the family think they don't have to be this size They could actually be a bit bigger the ones I made the recipe I made recently which was a different recipe um, That had the malt syrup in they actually were they only made six so they were twice as big so you can certainly do the big cafe style ones as well in your thermomix i hope you've enjoyed this video um give this recipe a go share your picture when you do i would love to see it and uh go find me on my facebook page where you can find daily videos i do live videos every single day um because you'll see there the bacon jam which then partners beautifully with this recipe um, for eggs and bacon jam on bagels. So otherwise take care and I look forward to seeing you in another video real soon here on my YouTube channel. But otherwise take care and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.